hello agents welcome to another division build video today i'm going to show you my build which i made for the hvt high value targets and the gameplay where i am doing the espadrone the hardest weekly hvt target if you don't know what hvt is i will explain you shortly HVT is an awesome PvE content that you can play by collecting the target intel and then trading those intel for the information about the location of the toughest elite enemies in the game. You can do that only in the base of operations and in the terminal. There are two NPCs, man and a woman, standing right behind me that will give you the assignment in exchange for the target intel. You can collect target intel by doing separate search and destroy missions that are available in the safe houses across the map. You can do these missions only if you are level 30 and you have done all the missions and the side missions in that particular district. Or you can collect that intel as I am doing just along the way and while I'm doing open world bosses. Since the patch 1.6 came out, I noticed that civilian in need, beggar on the street, will give you one target intel and of course some blue or purple weapon or a gear item. Yes, I know that one target intel is nothing, but I do travel a lot across the map while I'm doing bosses, and I notice that every time I exit the safe house, civilian in needs show up, and I give him what he wants, because we are the good guys, right? And in exchange I get one target intel. In the next 20 to 30 minutes I have around 10 to 15 target intels depending on how much I do bosses. And I am going to do them every day. That way you don't even need to do search and destroy missions. So once you have 99 target intels you can't collect any more. You can spend your intel and do the missions. Why to do that you can ask. Well, HVT missions will give you the best possible rewards in terms of weapons, gear items, phoenix credits and even the weapon skins in the whole game. Missions are extremely hard and I did notice that many people calling for help and looking to matchmake just to finish those missions. Well, okay guys, this build can get you solo through the hardest content of the high valued targets. First, I will show you the gameplay and then you can see my build in detail. a safe area.
approaching marked location. Warning. Hostiles detected nearby. Incoming hostiles detected.
value target has been eliminated. That's it guys, the hardest HVT target is eliminated. Okay guys, let's start with my build at last. Uh, I don't know how to start this, but let's say like this. Uh, many of you liked my uh, Predator uh, Smark build which I made for the upcoming uh, 1.61 patch and uh, many of you uh, want to have a bullfrog uh, we all know that bullfrog is a uh, very rare drop and uh, also a couple of uh, my subscribers asked me to do a video with the bullfrog drop and I will say like this uh, I get uh, many bullfrogs in the patch 1.5 while this rifle was still FAMAS and I know uh, in 1.6 uh, it's not uh, very often to get the bullfrog so I decided to make this build with more common weapons I'm using two assault rifles uh, the major build is Predator's Mark with the uh, purple damage to elite mods this is the main thing uh, in this build uh, I will start with my rifle I was crafting LVO uh, I'm sorry I get this rifle uh, like a drop from a mission I think it was Lexington uh, and uh, this weapon came to me like this i get it uh fierce and vicious in the third slot and since both of those talents are uh, critical hit chance talents i said to myself let's make uh, all crit chance rifle so all three talents on these rifles are critical hit chance talents and they are uh, fierce critical chance increased by five percent when using this weapon Adept, using a skill increases your critical hit chance by 7.5% for 15 seconds and the vicious critical hit chance is increased by 10% while having more than 2 segments of health. Uh, this is LVOAC with 22% enemy armor damage which is awesome for uh, PvE and 22.1k uh, pretty high base damage. Uh, the mods on my rifle are extended mag with crit damage and crit chance uh, pro red dot sight again crit damage headshot damage and crit chance large muzzle FDA uh, crit hit damage headshot damage and crit chance and uh, large underbarrel crit damage reload speed and accuracy this is the best uh, underbarrel I have uh, so point is that uh, I equipped this LVOAC uh, to have a maximum critical hit chance and critical hit damage and you will see my stats in uh, character a little bit later uh, I decided to go with two assault rifles because they are the number one weapons for a PvE well at least for me and the uh, second rifle is having so much potential and so so uh, uh, little uh, people are using this rifle it's black market AK-74 uh, it can be any variant of uh, AK it can be AK-47 or military AK-47 whatever uh, point is that uh, this weapon is a beast 
when it's coming together with the predator's mark. I will try to explain you why I think so. Uh, LVOC have a 22.1k base damage and the black market AK-74 have 27.7k damage. And uh, when you check out the predator's mark talents, you will see that the uh, set bonus 2 is reload speed, set bonus 3 assault rifle damage and SMG damage, and the set bonus 4 is predator's mark, hit 10 shots without switching target to make the target bleed for 50% of damage already done by those bullets. It's no question that one bullet from the black market taken 47, 74, whatever, is making a bigger damage than the bullet from the LVOAC. Uh, and this 50% of damage which you are getting from the Predator's Mark is bigger with the uh, Black Market AK-74. So, uh, I modded this rifle, uh, I choose talents like this. Deadly, of course, crit hit damage increased by 15%. Responsive, uh, I'm using a secondary usually when uh, the shotgunners are, are rushing at you uh, and I have responsive which is damage increased by 10% when closer than 10 meters to the target and are unforgiving uh, with missing health segment increase your damage uh, by 10% one missing segment and 25% two missing segments uh, you know how the shotgunners are dangerous uh, they are damage you in a matter of seconds uh, so this is the final uh, final stage where this talent is coming it's coming uh, like a great great addition to this rifle uh, if you don't like unforgiving you can switch this talent for a competent uh, competent will give you 10% more damage when you are using your skills. Uh, the mods on the Black Market AK-74 are extended mag with crit chance and rate of fire, which is important because Black Market has a lower rate of fire than the LVOAC or Lightweight M4. Uh, you see it's 600 RPM while LVOAC is 850 so i put the uh, rate of fire on my mag and i'm getting like uh, 629 rpm it's it's working fine uh, so uh, for uh, optics i'm having again crit damage headshot damage crit chance muzzle crit damage crit chance and headshot damage and uh, uh, under barrel is small grip with crit damage accuracy and optimal range the skin serpent hydra and the skin serpent copperhead uh, you will get uh, when you're doing high value targets i get these two skins and they are pretty nice at the end of the mission they are coming like a drop from the bosses so hvt is awesome pva content uh, and uh, this build is made for that i i'm telling you guys the damage i am dealing with this build to the elite enemies is insane you will see in the gameplay uh, i hope uh, i explain uh, everything about the weapons so let's go quickly to my gear items uh for my vest <coughs> i'm sorry guys i am uh, decided to go with the barrett bulletproof vest because of the increase in damage uh which you will get from the barrett one skill on cooldown increases damage by five percent two skills on cooldown increases armor by ten percent and uh, when you have no skills on cooldown it will increase your skill power so i think this is the best way to go uh, uh, major attributes are exotic damage resilience and health and i'm having increased skill xp i would like this to be ammo capacity but i couldn't roll it 
the mods are electronics mod with 3% damage to elites and firearms mod uh, with 3% damage to elites. Ok, let's go to my mask. Uh, mask is predator's mark mask with 4% critical hit chance and 10% damage to elites. It is rolled firearms. Uh, I will tell you right now, I don't have any uh, gear piece uh, rolled stamina and you can see that my toughness is so low, it's 269,000 but uh, it really doesn't matter, you are killing enemies with this build so quick that they can't even react. Uh, I was uh, very cautious uh, when I was playing uh, the Espadrone maybe two more cautious uh, i didn't know what to expect with this build but uh, the feeling uh, was that i can really walk through this mission so easy so i decided uh, that i really don't need that much stamina i was testing this build even before and uh, i will show you quickly uh, this vest is rolled uh, firearms, the mask is rolled firearms and the knee pads are rolled firearms. Uh, my backpack is rolled electronics, gloves are again firearms and you have a holster. We will come later to the holster. Uh, where we uh, stop? I think knee pads. Ok, predator mark knee pads with 8% critical hit damage. This could be held if you want a little bit more toughness. But I decided to make this great DPS build for a PvE content. So uh, I decided to go with critical hit damage. Of course it's 14% damage to elites as minor attributes, 32% burn resistance and 32% disrupt resistance. The mods are firearms with 3% damage to elites and the uh, prototype performance mod with 6% first aid self heal ok let's go let's continue uh, my backpack is predator mark backpack uh, with uh, electronics roll and major attribute is health and the minor attribute is ammo capacity perfectly rolled uh, backpack predator backpack i uh, rolled that in the terminal uh, the maximum uh, number for uh, electronics 1272 my gloves predator mark gloves pretty decent armor uh, rolled firearms pretty high with a six percent critical hit chance Assault rifle damage and critical hit damage. Uh, and holster, of course, this is nimble holster. Since I don't have uh, any stamina, it's really the low, low stamina, toughness, uh, I decided to go with nimble as a great source for healing yourself. Running from cover to cover, you will heal yourself even though this will be nerfed in the upcoming patch well i decided that this build uh, will not be uh, so good without the nimble nimble is giving that survivability to this build and it's rolled pretty high in firearms and the stamina and got lower roll on the electronics you know nimble healed two percent of max health for every one meter running cover to cover during combat of course, a major attribute is critical hit chance. Prototype performance mod with 6% first aid self heal. All prototype performance mods are 6% first aid self heal, if I forgot to tell you. Uh, let's go to my character. Okay, guys. Uh, 7500 firearms, 3000 stamina, just enough for uh, talents on my rifles and uh, almost 4000 electronics weapon damage crit chance ok this is crit chance for a secondary weapon mm. I will switch quickly on my LVOSC 
and you will see the crit chance for 38%. Uh, once I uh, pop my booster shot, I'm sorry, uh, my uh, scanner pulse, this crit chance is going high, it's going uh, extremely high for the assault rifle. Uh, when you pair that to the critical hit damage of 104%, you are getting one crit beast assault rifle. This rifle can work uh, also that great even in the PvP content of this game, which I didn't try yet and I'm uh, sure uh, having planks to do that. Got pretty high headshot damage because headshot damage is a uh, multiplier for the assault rifles uh, like 100% almost and uh, it's 87% a little bit of a currency coming from mods range 28 meters reload time uh, okay not bad reload speed bonus although I have reload speed on my uh, mods on my rifle assault rifle damage coming from the gloves as 8% assault rifle damage from Predator's Mark build. 39% damage to elites. This is huge number guys for uh, PvE content and uh, you will see in the gameplay. You, I, I believe you see already gameplay and how this works. Enemy armor damage 22% coming straight from the rifle. Skills. Skills I is okay. Uh, I didn't want to go uh, more on skill. I based damage of this rifle on critical hit chance, critical hit damage and the predator's mark damage. Damage you are getting from the predator's mark. Uh, Toughness, maximum health, armor, armor is ok, 32.2, mitigation, health regeneration, exotic damage resilience, burn resistance, snippets, disrupt, and that's it guys, that's it for my character. Uh, let's go to my skills and my talents as always uh, I was running uh, with the I should run with the recompact because the lowest cooldown and uh, damage critical hit chance and critical hit damage increased by 13.8 percent uh, let's go quickly to my character I want to show you something crit chance is 38% and you add this thirteen point eight, and you are getting almost 50% critical hit chance with this rifle once you pop your uh, pulse so it's awesome uh, that's it guys for the pulse I hope you understand what I wanted to tell you uh, booster shot also temporarily increases damage and damage resistance and the self heal is around 80,000 which is not bad uh, considering the uh, amount of electronics that I have and believe me it's enough it's enough you have a uh, nimble in this build which ca you can use by running from cover to cover and it's it's enough for uh, this build uh, also you have med kits and the healing is solved with nimble booster and uh, med kits and of course I always using recovery link because I'm always playing solo I made this build for you guys who are also solo players but you can use it even in uh, uh, wi with your friends when you play in groups uh, because of the damage is so fatal f 
for uh, elite enemies. Okay, uh, let's go to my talents. I forgot to show you my talents. I was playing like this with this build. Uh, I always use in critical save. Uh, use medkit during low health to increase damage resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. Which is pretty important because uh, squishiness of this build. Uh, I had uh, decent electronics. I don't have any skill haste. So I feel f like I need something for my skills to uh, come up uh, faster so i i decided to go with strike back with wi which is saying reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20 percent you will reaching low health uh, very often with this build and it is going to help you to pop your booster shot and your pulse more frequently of course for the upcoming patch I will add uh, this talent which is applying bleed to any target triggers 30% chance per each target in 10 meter radius which goes perfectly with the predator's mark build. Uh, I didn't use this because uh, apparently this is not working in this patch so I uh, decided to use uh, strike back. My uh, third talent is on the move kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 15% for 10 seconds and then when if you pop your medkit you are getting additional 20% resistance so uh, these two together will give you uh, 20 and uh, 35 uh, damage resistance which is important for this build uh, and I decided to go with one is none to uh, increase my dps even more headshot hostile to have 50 percent chance of not consuming the bullet instead of this you can go with the uh, tactical advance which i also highly recommend which goes along with the nimble holster uh, complete cover to cover move to increase weapon damage by two percent per meter covered for five seconds so those are some options i'm giving you guys uh, you can decide uh, which of these talents you are going to use it depending on your uh, play style really it's unique for uh, every player so choose whatever you like I'm just giving you some suggestions maybe you have some better options so please leave it in the comment section uh, but I was uh, originally using these four talents uh, in this game in this gameplay and everything works fine uh, I think that's it guys I think that's it uh, I will finish with this uh, right now if you have any questions or recommendations uh, please leave it in the comment section on my youtube channel right below this video i'm always trying to answer to all of you uh, and i'm also having a great time by doing that uh, please comment like or subscribe if you like this video share a video it will help me a great uh, i wanted to thank you all for being my subscribers yesterday i reached a uh, little bit over 100 subscribers which is awesome and nothing of that wouldn't happen without you guys so i hope you you are going to have uh, some uh, great time doing hvt with this build i know it's kind of hard to collect all of these items but uh, you seen in the gameplay uh, how easy it is to play with uh, this build uh, what else to say I don't know guys thank you for all and I see you guys in the next video <laughs>